Hi, it's Dr. Elisha Van Dusen with New Hope Chiropractic, and this is part two of the best vitamins for men that I went over in my previous video. So next is vitamin K. It's important for building and maintaining strong bones, facilitating normal blood clotting, and promotes cardiovascular health. And why might uh, someone be low in this vitamin? Why might a, a guy be low in this? Well, a vitamin K shortfall is generally thought to be more common in men who don't regularly consume vegetables, or dairy products, or any dietary or lifestyle practice that may interfere with absorption. K1 is found in many green vegetables, while vitamin K2 is found in things like dairy products. And the best way to prevent this deficiency is to eat plenty of different vegetables, including green leafy vegetables, broccoli, collards, and cabbage, plus some wild-caught fish, cage-free eggs as well. And if you can eat those, a good multivitamin will also have some vitamin K as well. Next is magnesium. It's an essential electrolyte mineral involved in over 300 different chemical processes. It's important with regulating calcium, potassium, and sodium levels. It supports healthy blood pressure, muscular health, digestive processes, bone health, a positive outlook, and just overall calmness. So. Um, this has decreased in the modern food supply a lot over time due to soil depletion. So it's especially important to uh, supplement with this. Also, if you're under stress or you work out a lot, you're all also likely to be deficient. So take, uh, take in magnesium-rich foods like, again, leafy green vegetables, cruciferous veggies, sea vegetables, algae, beans, nuts, and seeds. And uh, a supplement is also good. Generally, adult men should consume about 400 to 420 milligrams of magnesium every day. Next is omega-3 fish oils. Lots of benefits here. Um, you can find these in salmon, sardines, tuna, and halibut. Um, also, you can supplement with, with them as well. Um, a typical Western diet consumes plenty of omega-6 fatty acids, which are found in many packaged foods. Uh, and vegetable oils, but you don't have enough omega-3s in the typical modern diet, which are found in fish, eggs, nuts, and seeds. So these two fatty acids um, are important to uh, promote healthy inflammation response and a healthy immune system. So eating wild-caught fish several times a week is good, um, or taking, taking a supplement equal to about 1,000 milligrams a day is the best way to make sure you're your levels are adequate with omega-3s. Finally is potassium. Um, this is uh, a deficiency that's becoming more and more common in developed nations. And it's concerning because potassium is important when it comes to maintaining normal cardiovascular function, blood pressure, bone health, and digestion. And you can help meet your potassium levels by eating foods like beans, avocado, sweet potatoes, bananas, salmon, and grass-fed beef. Uh, also, you, if you're not eating a lot of these, you may consider supplementing too. Generally, you should have about 4,700 milligrams of potassium in your diet every single day to get uh, make sure you have the right levels in your system. So hope this helps. Check us out at newhopechiropractic.com and uh, also make sure you're getting regular chiropractic adjustments because that'll help you metabolize the foods and supplements that you actually are eating so you get the most out of them. With that, have a healthy day.